Yeah. Are you a passionate gardener at home, Chef? Um, yeah, look, I've got my own sort of tomato plants and, um, you know, parsley and the regular, you know, mint and thyme and everything that I use in cooking. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's as easy as it looks. <laughs> oh, Most I... definitely wouldn't, no. Employ someone? Yeah, yeah, get the girlfriend onto that. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, well, lucky enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, I guess, um, you know, the thing, like Circa the restaurant has been around for about 12 years. Um, I've just, you know, been here for about five years, um, taken over about 12 months ago as the head chef. Um, I spent a lot of time training overseas and um, sort of trying to get my skills down pat and build on that knowledge. Um, you know, Melbourne is my home and that's where I, you know, wanted to come back to. Um, and now that I have this opportunity, um, you know, to become a head chef within Melbourne, um, you know, that's something that I, you know, hold with a lot of pride. And it's a beautiful restaurant, of course. It is. Course. It's, it's a beautiful a, restaurant. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty lucky. Um, you know, and the team's absolutely fantastic as well. Like, um, I have 17 chefs in the kitchen. Which is a lot. Which is quite a lot, yeah. It's, it, although it does look like a small type of restaurant, we still also have 30 rooms. Um, we have weddings, you know, every other weekend. Um, so we can seat, um, you know, three or four hundred sometimes so it's a big job and room service and mm. breakfast lunch and dinner and but it's a stunning setting so I mean I could understand why people would want to come here yeah to eat to have a wedding to have a party why well, wouldn't you it's... yeah I mean it's a you know St Kilda's a great spot it's you know had a good clean up over the last sort of 10 years and I think now it's one of those places that people come to they know you know whether it's a nightclub you're looking for or a top restaurant like um you know it sort of has all that and you know, we sort of cater for if people just want to drop in and um, have a burger at the bar or, you know, put a new Wagyu pie on the menu, people love that. Or if they want to come and have a six-course degustation menu, then they can. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Now, um, so future plans. Are you? How often do you change your menus? Do you travel to find new foods? Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely look for inspirations everywhere. Um, and it's certainly like, you know, travelling overseas and... Just dining at other restaurants, major part of that. Yep. Um, the menu changes um, twice seasonally, um, but it's not a set thing. You know, if I really like something on the menu, I leave it on for a, a fair while. You know. Yeah. Um, but you know, different sort of producers come and go, and you know, I see new things, or I might just wake up in the morning one day, and for some reason, a dish will be in my head, and um, like the yield dish, and you know, that day we'll have it on the menu, and. Um, you know, it's weird how it works sometimes when you just, um, you know, you, you kind of have these ideas that, you know, perhaps you've seen something somewhere or, you know, even your mum's cooked you something for dinner and um, somehow, like in your head, you a know, light goes on or... a light goes on and um, you transfer it and sort of, you know, mix it around in the melting pot and out comes something pretty special. How, how important is it for you collaborating with other chefs, other apprentices? Is it an important factor for you designing a menu? Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, you know, not one brain in the kitchen can come up with absolutely everything and you, you're crazy if you think that, you know, you know, you haven't got all that brain power in the kitchen to utilise. Yeah. Um, some of my guys are from all over the world. I've got people from Malaysia, I've got Indonesians, I've got New Zealand, um, English. Um, and the combination of all those ideas... It's, um, it's important for you? Definitely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's something that when they can make it something theirs, um, you know, it helps our restaurant, it helps my kitchen, like, form that sort of relationship that Absolutely. keeps us pumping, really. Gives them a confidence boost yeah. and, uh, yeah. Gives it, a, you know, and it's, it's really important to sort of, you know, I understand it's my job now as, um, you know, being in a head chef role to nurture the younger chefs, um, you know, to certainly... You know, look at younger Australians and stuff, and try and get across to them that, um, you know, we have got a great food scene in Australia, um, and that's something that you know we really need to develop. I think Australia, you know, Absolutely. we didn't really have like a culinary um, a history. You know, we've only been around for 200 odd years, exactly. so it's sort of up to guys like me and the other chefs to, um, you know, develop that and really set our standard in the world scene. Well, I think you're doing a phenomenal job. Thanks. And I'm not the only one. Obviously, you've been recently two hats, I believe. Yeah, we had two hats. Um, you know, the restaurant's been quite well awarded, um, which is, you know, a credit to everybody in the business. It's, um, you know, the front of house team, the wine people, the sommeliers. The whole package. The whole package is just, um, you know, they've always been 
had been focused on being a top restaurant um, and just delivering you know the best possible um, service and um, produce we can. Now with the management here and you've obviously got a great relationship with them yep. um, they obviously support you 100% how yep. important is that for you? Oh, it's you know it's vitally important I think um, you know and the unique part about this business is um, John and Lisa Van Handel the owners um, you know it's a family owned business even though of this size um, and you know they're, they've been in the industry for 30 odd years you know they're, um, they're very very knowledgeable and that's something that I just draw every you know everything I can out of them. That's fantastic, so, it sounds like a great relationship. Yeah it is you know and they're, they're, they're fantastic people and you know I just as much enjoy you know sharing a few wines around a dinner table with them as any, any other of my friends. That's fantastic, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's good.